Nearly five years, nearly five years have passed since Hurricane Harvey crushed our community under 40 inches of torrential rainfall. Our U.S. Congress responded by appropriating billions of dollars for relief and remediation against future storms, and yet, in what can only be seen as a textbook example of destructive partisanship and governmental dysfunction, much of that relief money remains undistributed. This week, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development ruled that the Texas General Land Office, which administers the federal aid, has discriminated against minority residents by denying aid to the hardest hit areas, namely Houston and Harris County. Panel, the fighting and the waiting continues as we enter yet another dangerous storm season. Tomorrow, Bell, what do you think of this? This is appalling. I'm not kidding, because as I said about the Riverside community, you still got people whose homes have not been fixed because of Harvey, because they had lower insurance, didn't know that their property was worth as much as it was worth because daddy died. So mama just going paying the policy that's there and could have been eligible for this help, but couldn't get it because they holding the money back. This makes no sense because we are in the heart of hurricane season. You talking about people who still ain't fixed their house from the freeze either, and they still having these issues. Why are you holding on to this money? This makes no sense. I don't even care if GLO administers it and gets it to Houston. It's no excuse for just holding on to it. There is none. That is inhumane to do that. Gary Paul, this is like a, a perfect example of dysfunction junction, agreed? Uh, I agree, and I, I agree with you and Tamar. This is this is outrageous, and I know there's a lack of trust with the ability of the city of Houston to properly administer. But Tamar is absolutely right. That's no excuse not to administer it by your do it yourself. Yeah. Have it done. But there are people that have needs, and and it is crazy that we're years from the hurricane, and the money's just sitting there and not helping anybody. Just stupid. And that's why people get frustrated with government, and why Marcus bitches about both parties. Here's a, here's a prime example of two-party incompetence. Welcome back as we continue our discussion of the government debacle, which is the ongoing failure to get billions of dollars of relief to those hurt most by Hurricane Harvey nearly five years ago. I'm going straight to you, Marcus Davis. You gotta be shaking your head. I, I, I am shaking my head because this is a, this is a travesty. I, you know, this is a complete disconnect. How do you sit in an office where you know resources, resources are there and you see people hurting from su a, such a travesty five years ago and you do nothing about it? This has to be a combination of incompetence, partisan politics, and just shame, straight up corruption. Because I believe somebody's playing with that money somehow, some way. Tony, Don't is the know. system broken? System's broken. I want to remind folks that at the federal level, HUD ding George P. Bush, who's running for office, for coming up with policies that were unfair to black families and Latino families. And I have not forgotten when he cut out Harris County from those relief funds as well. And additionally, he added counties that were far away from where all the danger hit hardest into the whole pool of money, making it harder for our communities to apply for that money. Unfair, unjust. He needs to be voted out for whatever he runs for. Okay, Charles, 20 seconds. I have to agree with Tony. But yes, he, he gave Harris County and Houston initially zero dollars. And HUD said, and I quote, that they use scoring criteria that substantially and predictably disadvantage black and Hispanic residents. And so if there's one reason not to support him for attorney general, I think you found it.